Every environment has exposures. We see them in the form of vulnerabilities, identities, misconfigurations, user and system behaviors, cloud configurations, and more. Historically, these exposures have all been managed in silos, often by different teams with no awareness how all of these exposures can be leveraged by an attacker in a campaign putting your critical assets at risk. Many tools zero in on individual types of exposures, giving you a limited perspective of your risk. But this perspective is flawed. It fails to account for the way an attacker sees your networks and systems. A good example of this would be a vulnerability management or cloud architecture team in an organization myopically managing their own threats with no awareness of how all the exposures in an environment could be operationalized by an attacker. Attackers don't look at the individual exposure, rather they leverage the toxic combination of vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, overly permissive identities, and other security gaps to move across the systems and reach sensitive assets. XM Cyber takes a new approach with an ultra-efficient remediation which can transform your security strategy. Organizations can practically eliminate all attack paths to critical assets by remediating just 2% of exposures that lie on strategic choke points. In the next couple minutes, I'm going to show you how XM Cyber allows you to continually monitor and manage these threats with our continuous threat exposure management solution. We're going to start in our main dashboard since it's a good place to look at a few of the outcomes and to find a couple of key terms before I take you into my favorite feature, the battleground. Most of this dashboard is fairly intuitive, but I want to quickly define this term scenarios that you see here a few times. A scenario is the framework for any attack model in our platform. We define at least one breach point and one critical asset, and our attack graph engine safely considers an attacker's map of possible, moving from that breach point, targeting those critical assets, leveraging all discovered exposures like vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and user activity. There are many out-of-the-box scenarios, but I like working with customers to define some real-world concerns for them. For example, if I want to know if an old, unpatched Windows machine is compromised, what is the risk to a critical production system? We define these scenarios, let them run daily, and then gain visibility around that attacker's map of possible I mentioned. As the scenarios regularly run, we get some really useful data populated in this dashboard. You can see I have a few scenarios selected in this trending graphic, visualizing the scenario score over a month. I can see that our risk from machines affected by log 4 shell has been slowly improving over the last month and the hybrid risk to customer data seems to have some regularly occurring event that seems to be impacting the security posture potentially increasing the risk to my critical assets. This is my favorite screen, the battleground. It provides an amazing interactive view into what occurred during the time frame our attack path modeling engine evaluated all the exposures in the environment to determine the risk to the designated critical assets. When you first view a campaign in the battleground view, we always start at the end of the timeline where you can see the entities that were compromised shown in red, the entities that were discovered but not compromised by the attacker in blue, and the entities that were not discovered by the attacker in gray. I can see that 82% of my environment was compromised, but I may want to start by just investigating my critical assets, which I do by selecting this option. Both defined critical assets were compromised in this scenario, and I can get a deeper understanding by selecting either of them. I'll choose this S3 bucket in the US East 2 region in my AWS environment. Immediately I'm presented with the steps an attacker could take from that breach point to compromise this critical asset. The log on the left steps me through how each exposure took a potential threat actor a step closer to compromising a critical asset. The breach point here was this Windows web server named Partners Portal, where we were able to use a print nightmare vulnerability on this machine named Steve to carry out some lateral movement. On the newly compromised machine named Steve, we find an AWS key that we were able to leverage to move into the cloud where we eventually position ourselves to read data out of the S3 bucket named FinanceDB, which we have labeled as a critical asset. An exposure is much wider than a standard CVE. We can see how attackers leverage and combine misconfiguration vulnerabilities, identity exposures, and more. If I wanted to visualize in real time the timeline of exploiting these exposures, I can use the slider to animate the map providing a visualization 
of the attacker's movements that anyone can comprehend. Armed with the new awareness of the exposures, introducing risk my critical assets, visualized through the battleground view, I now can more efficiently address the exposures that have the greatest impact on my critical assets risk. I patched the machine named Steve, remediating the print nightmare risk, and now as you can see it no longer can be leveraged as an exposure in an attack. I now have the validation that my critical assets are safe and continue to do so by continually monitoring and assessing the exposures in my environment. As much as I love the battleground views, they aren't very printer friendly, so we do generate reports that are more suited for that format, each with miter alignment, remediations, and best practice recommendations. Deliver a straightforward and quantifiable view of risk and ROI to the board and provide solid and clear reasoning behind remediation recommendations to align IT ops and security teams. For the scenario we looked at together, I can review the campaign report and investigate any of the findings we discovered. If I want to understand the steps to remediate any of these attack techniques, I can view on this view remediation link and receive guidance into the suggested remediations and best practices to address this specific exposure. Each of the recommendations walk you through step by step how these remediations can be applied to your environment, securing these entities and cutting off these paths to your critical assets. Another report I see customers regularly seeing value in is our credentials reports, bringing attention to both domain and local credentials that can be compromised and potentially reused as the attacker moves across the network, playing out real-world attack behaviors from threat actors. It's not uncommon to find many privileged accounts like these cached and vulnerable to be used in both simulated and real-world incidents. That's all the time I have, but hopefully that gave you quick insight into XM Cyber. Thanks for your time.